In this media, you will learn about high voltage systems. The use of high voltage electrical systems in ships is on the rise. In order to reduce the current, a high voltage is required. For instance, consider a system with voltage at 400 volts and the current produced at 3,300 amperes. It is equivalent to a system of the same power with voltage at 6 kilovolts or 6,000 volts and the current produced at 220 amperes. In maritime parlance, voltage above 1 kilovolt is called high voltage and voltage below 1 kilovolt or 1,000 volts is called low voltage. 3.3 kilovolts, 6.6 kilovolts, and 11 kilovolts are the typical high voltage systems in marine. The following are the high voltage equipment which require HV installation. Generators. High voltage switchboard with protection devices, switchgear, and instrumentation. High voltage motors for compressors, air conditioners, propulsion, and thrusters. High voltage cables. Step down transformers, high voltage to low voltage for low voltage consumers. High voltage 6.6 .6 kilovolt and 2.9 kilovolt step down transformers for motors and propulsion converters. For any person doing electrical work on high voltage systems, the main hazard or danger is high voltage electrical shock. After the 2010 Manila amendments, the Standard of Training Certification and Watchkeeping Convention, STCW, has made training on high voltage systems mandatory for senior engineering staff who work in electrical power plants above 1000 volts. Risk assessment must be carried out in high voltage switchboards and equipment before any personnel is allowed to work. A permit to work or work authorization must also be in place before starting work on high voltage systems. Earthing down procedures and isolation procedures must be drawn with utmost care. Thus, you have learned about high voltage systems.